North Korea crisis, Trump warns US will take devastating military option to end Kim. The US president said the move will be devastating for Pyongyang. Asked whether he would consider sending the military into North Korea, Mr. Trump, said, We are totally prepared for the second option, not preferred, but it will be devastating, I can tell you that, that's called the military option. If we have to take it we will. He's acting very badly. He's saying things he should never ever say but it's a reply. The things he's said over the past year and two past administrations, is a situation which should have been handled 25 years ago, 10, 5 years ago. Many administrations have left me with this mess but I'll fix the mess. His threat came amid a trench of bellicose statements by Mr. Trump and despot leader Kim Jong-un. Yesterday North Korean Foreign Minister Ri Yong-ho accused Mr. Trump of declaring war on the North and threatened to shoot down U.S. warplanes flying near the peninsula. Last weekend American bombers flew the closest they ever have to the country. Mr. Ri was reacting to the president's comments Kim and Ri would be around much longer if they carried out their threats toward the U.S. North Korea's sixth and most powerful nuclear missile test was carried out on September 3. Earlier today the U.S. sanctioned 26 North Korean nationals and nine banks, including some with ties to China. In a list on the U.S. Treasury Department Office of Foreign Assets Control Sanctions website, they revealed some of the individuals are in North Korea and some are North Korean nationals in China, Russia, Libya and Dubai. The U.S. top military officer today said the U.S. regards North Korea as the world's greatest threat but despite an escalation in tensions over its ballistic missile and nuclear program, Pyongyang has not changed its military posture. The assessment by Marine Corps General Joseph Dunford, chairman of the U.S. Joint Chiefs of Staff, about Pyongyang's military stance was in contrast to a South Korean lawmaker who said Pyongyang had boosted defenses on its east coast. Statements by Mr. Trump and Kim in recent weeks have created fears a miscalculation could lead to action with untold ramifications, particularly since Pyongyang conducted its sixth and most powerful nuclear test on September 3. Mr. Dunford told the Senate Armed Services Committee, while the political space is clearly very charged right now, we haven't seen a change in the posture of North Korean forces, and we watch that very closely.